So we know that x and y are positive integers, but we want to find the sum of their roots. So square root of x plus square root of y. Now statement one just tells us that the sum of x and y is 15, but remember we know that they're positive integers. So they could be one and 14, two and 13, three and 12, and so on. But each of those cases would lead to a different sum of roots, right? The sum of root one plus root 14 is not the same as the sum of root seven plus root eight. So statement one is not sufficient on its own and we should eliminate the answer choices that claim that it is. So A and D are gone and we're down to B, C, or E. Now statement two gives us the root of the product X, Y. Apparently that's six. And that means that the product of X, Y is 36. I'm just raising each side of that equation to the power of two. I'm squaring each side of the equation. Now we know that X and Y are positive integers, but there are a lot of different factor pairs for 36. X and Y could be one and 36, two and 18, three and 12, four and nine, or six and six. And we're looking for the sum of their roots, but the root of one plus the root of 36 is not the same as the root of six plus the root of six. So statement two is not sufficient on its own either, and we should eliminate B. Let's combine these statements right after the intro. So when we combine these statements, we know both the product of x and y and the sum of x and y. The product is 36 and the sum is 15. Now, conceptually, just in general, if you know the product of two numbers and you also know their sum, you can figure out what those two values are. You might not know which is which, so I won't know which of them is x and which of them is y, but I will know what they are. I go into great detail about that in my book. Now, to answer this particular question, we don't need to know which is which. They're asking us to add the roots of x and y. And the order in addition doesn't matter. So when we combine these statements, we can answer this question definitively. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.